everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing Halloween theme designed by Steve Good, and it is a skull box. Now, I know skulls are a main fixture of Halloween with the decor and the pumpkin carvings and all that, but really, really cool. And it's also really cool because me being a pirate, I love skulls. I love the Jolly Rogers with the skulls and crossbones on them. I've got one on my truck, actually, and I also have a lot of skull themed decor myself in the house, but really, really cool. The pattern is fully printed out and attached to our material wig clear packing tape. I'm going to show you the design now. The top of the box, as I said, is a nice skull design. And Steve has used this skull for a couple different of his scroll saw patterns throughout the year. But really, really cool. This is half inch poplar. We have the bottom and the underside of the lid of the box, which is going to be two pieces of quarter inch plywood that we're going to cut out first. And then we're going to move the camera and get this painted so it can be drying while we do the rest of the scroll work. And then we have the walls of the box. And this is one inch thick walnut. And we're going to use the same blade to cut out everything on this project. This cut here is just going to be a very slow cut. And it's one of those cuts you need to be as loyal to the cut line as you can be. Steve has a small dot there to indicate where the pallet hole should go. That way, when you sand everything, it's easier to hide where the pallet hole was. This is going to be the rim around the lid of the box and then the actual walls of the box. So we're going to stay as loyal as we can to the cut line and be extremely careful when we're sanding it because it's going to be a very fragile piece since everything is prepared. Let's move the camera over to the drill press, drill the few pallet holes we need for this project so we can head back to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press, we're going to begin by drilling all of the pilot holes for the project with a small drill bit. And then we will proceed to the scroll saw and start by cutting out the two quarter inch pieces of plywood here so we can go on and get those painted. And I painted these both front and back with a couple coats of spray paint and let them dry while we were doing the rest of the project. But back on the scroll saw, I'm going to begin by cutting out the walls of the box. And it's critical that you stay as loyal as you can to the cut line here. Because these two pieces have to line up and make the walls of the box. And I'm using the same number 5 blade here. Because if you use a thicker blade, it will take more material out with the kerf of the blade. And make the walls that much more fragile but I'm being as loyal as I can to the cut line. If you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. Now releasing the final box wall from the walnut here. Again, being as loyal as I can to the cut line and letting the blade do the work. And now we will proceed to cut out the skull. And you see I'm using the same number five blade for everything. And Steve has used this skull design here in a few of his patterns, which is really, really cool. I love skulls. I am a pirate after all. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to all my social medias will be in the description box below the video. I'd really appreciate the support. Now we are releasing the skull from the waste wood. And that will be all of the scroll work for this project. And then we can proceed to sanding and finishing. And I'm using the spindle attachment on my rigid sander here to sand the box walls. Being very, very careful here because these two pieces are very fragile. Just smoothing everything out before moving over to the palm sander. And I'm using 100 grit sandpaper in the palm sander. Again, doing a light touch on the box walls and then sanding the front and back of the skull. And now it's time to assemble. And I'm using Gorilla Wood Glue. And this glue is amazing and it bonds great to painted or bare wood surfaces. And it's never let me down and it dries clear. And once I get the spring clamps on it, I will cut a straw at an angle to scoop out the 
squeeze out on the inside. See me doing it there. And I will let this dry around an hour and a half and do other stuff in the workshop. Centering the skull as best I can. Just kind of eyeballing it. And while this was drying, I was also thinking of a way to do the inner wall. And I started like you're seeing here, but that just proved to be too difficult. So I took it out and give it a light coat of the glue and spread it with my fingers. And then I dropped it back into the box and firmly pressed the lid down and it should grab. And the spring clamps were not big enough to hold it. So I just used some saw blades as a clamp and wait and let that dry again and the box is complete and we finished it off with several coats of Rust-Oleum clear gloss and the project was complete. And here we have the completed skull themed box cut out completely on the scroll saw just in time for Halloween and it came out amazing. Thank you Steve Good for another fantastic and unique pattern from your ever expanding scroll saw catalog. Really, really cool. I had a lot of fun making this and I learned a lot on this project. This is the very first time I've made a box where you cut out the two rings like that. But really, really cool. And speaking of the two rings that make up the walls of the box and then the lip of the box lid, you need to make sure that your scroll saw is at a perfect 90 degrees when cutting this out. Otherwise, you will get some resistance here and those rings could break. Just double check on your scroll saw and maybe do a test cut to make sure. But really, really cool. It took me around five hours to make this box this morning. I was doing other stuff out in the workshop while the stuff was drying. Of course, the paint had to dry. Then the glue had to dry. Then we glued the rim onto the back of the lid and that had to dry. And then we, of course, had to clear coat and let that dry. So I was doing other stuff on the laser cutter and scroll saw while everything was drying here and kept rocking and rolling. But really, really cool. As far as display options for this box, I'm not real sure. It is kind of small, just about as big as my hand here. And of course, you do have the option of enlarging the pattern. This is just the actual size of the pattern when I printed it from Steve's Pattern Pack. But you could put some maybe straw in here for a little fall vibe and maybe put a gift card or a piece of jewelry and present it to someone who really likes Halloween or something like that. I don't know, but I'm sure there's several options and several creative people out there that will come up with some very unique uses for this box but really really cool I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you guys like watching me make it if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at artisan pirate links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about all for this one and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate take care and I'll see you guys real soon